already don't know. Hey, you know what I'm saying? I told G like, bro, I'm itching, bro. He like, damn, bro. Already, already. You know what I'm saying? Already. I told God that go. I had to play that because that's my joint. Even though it's his song. It's my <laughs> no, joint, man. Joint, At all costs, man. That's my joint, man. Yeah. Because that is, you know, loyal by all means. You know, you, you don't you don't know what that means until yeah, it happens. Yeah, I don't really know that. You know, and, and everybody has their own version of it, certainly. But that's that's why real principles are universal. Because when you have, you know, when you have values, values go across the board. You know what I'm saying? Values transcend the nonsense. Shout out my moments. Like hey, bro. Hey, I'm trying to tell you, man. I'm trying to tell you. Shout out to Heed. My mom's too, man. She, she went through mistakes and through, you know, and through the best moments. She showed me all the time, like, you know, with saying no game and you got to take it. You got to take it for real. Yeah. And you got to have values because life is going to have cold. Constantly. Everything. Constantly. Everything. It's, 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 and I'll be honest with you, it costs more when you're real. Especially because you can't take the shortcuts. Yeah. You can't take the shortcuts all the time, you know what I'm saying? Big no, I'm going to let him introduce himself to y'all people, but I have to tell you in true Shout out, cuz, man. I love he, my cousin. He had dude. this artist, yes. He had this artist he was talking about, and he kept hassling me about the guy. And I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, and I, I, I'll give you a yeah. You know what I'm saying? But he was serious about it. And then, um, you know, we ended up connecting. I found out the man had done time in the same spot. My pops was at. While my pops was there. Shout out Nottoway, man. Man, hey, it's, it's so much better than Sussex. You know? <laughs> and I found out also that, um, you know, we I, I put him on, on a face melt. And, you know, we had we had a real person in, in interaction. And, I, you know, we discussed... And we had eye contact, and I felt yeah. it. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, "This is a man who understands the true nature of, you know, of of seeing things bigger than confrontation." You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And and I came back, and I was like, "Yo, I, I got to make sure that we are on the same page," because I felt that. And since then, you know, I've watched No grow, and he, you know, he put up the F Yo Buzz tape with Lil Ville, and that was shout the start. Out Phil, hey, shout out Lil Ville. It was I'm L, bro. Right I'm, I'm a clean, me, and bro. I'm gonna clean that murder record he got, bro. Hey. Just so much cursing, <laughs> <laughs> so much cursing. We was wrong, man. man. We we we, wrong. we we ain't know too much, like you know yeah. what I mean, like. But no, nah, you can't, you can't, man. That that's it's the kind real. of stuff you have to have reality, mm -hmm. and that record is real. That drone is all the way, like. That's you really me, know that man, yeah. like. Hey, as you said, you giving away too much, bro. We get like yeah. we tell the whole up your buzz, bro, like. You sit back and listen to that job, bro. I'd be like, bro, we was telling on each other. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, you said you was giving away too many, too many. You were really I said it, like but... I after a couple months of that job, listen, I was like, maybe we should have looked another way around this. <laughs> you know? Like, because there's because there's, there's there's a way to tell you facts and a way to tell you truth without revealing all the facts. I mean, also, but not being fake, and and that's what reality is. That's see, what real is. I gotta say this though, it's a reason why we did it like that. Cause at the end of the day, like. You know what I'm saying? Like, ain't sending no shots to nobody, but yeah. like, we seen so much fake. So, we oh, like, oh, hey, look, and that's and that's exactly what I'm gonna get into about this because what I'm what I'm getting at is that yes, no, he proved himself because he never sought my approval. He only sought my respect, and that's all I've ever asked from somebody as well. It's just their respect and the, to rep recognize that. I'm moving with honest and, and the best intentions I possibly can to help people cultivate and find their path. That's most peace. Outlet of expression. And so, no, I've watched grow and has been, you know, has been genuinely interested in hearing what, what I've learned from my mistakes or my maneuvers and things right. and applied it in his own way. And I've seen him grow and also really find himself. Like, people don't even pacing. know. Like, I ain't even trying to cut you out. Like, no, people no, no, don't no, even no. know, like... Like, Black Lick, the reason why I drowned in the first single. Hey, mm -hmm. look, that drowned. You know what I'm saying? Drowned. Hey, need a light like, jacket. He stopped me, like, bro. Drowning, bro. I remember you sent me that jump way early. And you I was like, I'm yo, saying? this, like, this right here. The only people that heard it before you is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That drowning jump, bro. That drowning jump, that was. You know what I'm saying? That, like, that was, that was for me, that, that was just a reminder 
of of why you and I connect. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And and that's why that, that it resonated with me because again, you know, what Big No is and what I really want you people to understand is that Big No is Big No. Big No ain't Nothing out else. here. He ain't out here making up a bunch of stuff about himself or trying to be up, more than what he is because I can't he, make he figured up. out the greatest secret at a great expense is that he will always be enough. Imagine really? what happens when you bring and if somebody. I'm not enough, I'm cool with it. But when you bring somebody who brings 100 percent of themselves to the table every single time, and the people around them, loyalty by all means means that they bring 100 percent of themselves to the table with you. That's when special and powerful things happen, right. and that's when you have persistence and you have patience and you understand the value of time, and that's what goes into your art. So that is why tonight we are checking in with Big No to talk about his latest release, Junkies Lives Matter. Which is on everything, everything, every little that, platform that you can everything think of. Everything you want to pay for, it's and on there. Everywhere, <laughs> anywhere, <laughs> you can get into that. And um, I'm going to talk about my thoughts of that that project as well. Yeah, because you ain't never tell me that too. I told you I was going to tell you in person. We got, we got messed up because of the snow. You know what I'm saying? The snow came and got in the way. But now we are here exactly. I want to play. I want to play Drowning. Is that cool? I want you to play whatever you want to play. Tell them where they can find you at real quick, bro. Uh, you can find me on Instagram. I am underscore Northside No. Facebook fan page Big No. YouTube channel Big No. Uh, if you really want to see what I'm about, you can definitely click that um, friend request on on my personal. YouTube, Jason Brooks, my real name. I have nothing to hide. Hey, and this you man got opinions, bro. He ain't you know scared to say it. If you really want to see what I'm about, you can definitely type in the numbers 1454311. I still remember that. Oh, you know hey, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, and you can see what I'm about. You heard me. Yeah, that's DOC. I ain't go fair. I took the plea. You heard me. Hey. You know what I mean? But you can find me on all those. If you want to reach out, you can find me at Gmail. I am Northside No. At Gmail, you know what I mean? And if you're talking about some money, you can hit my phone. <laughs> <laughs> but this right here, this is a reality record. This is Drowning. It's one of my favorite joints by That's him. Heart. And um, I mean, I like At All Costs because of the energy behind it and the and the the the, uh, the results behind it. You know, the, the it's experience. Yeah. Whereas this record is, to me, is collectively a, a it's an amalgamation of several different hard experiences. Mm-hmm. And you know. And the sincerity within it, you know what I'm yeah. saying? I need a life jacket, bro. I need a life jacket. I it's, still it's, need a life jacket. A, bro, look, the water ain't going away, right? It you know what I'm saying? Ain't, so you got to learn how to swim. But we all out here drowning one way or another, and a lot of people don't even know it, yo. A lot of them don't even know it. So what I got for y'all right now is big no drowning, yo. We're going to be on this all night. So, you know, like, tell your mom how much I really feel for her. Yeah. And, and how, you know, I would love for us to... I want my together. mama to get behind the camera one time, man. Hey, bro, look, you can make <laughs> any of my anything. cousins watching right now, man. Y'all got that going to talk to my mama, man. Tell her got that going on. We need mama to know. She going to stop it, though. Hey, why wouldn't she? Unless Justin Luke called. <laughs> Justin Luke called on the phone right now. He going to stop it. You heard me? Hey. Free Justin Luke. You heard me? Hey, real runs in the blood. Super deep. I'm living proof of that, and so is this man. Drowning, y'all. Man. There ain't man. no pretty song. That's yeah. an ugly song. You but hear life me? is that's the way life works, man. And you know, sometimes you gotta um like you said, you gotta make something shake, bro. You gotta make something you gotta shake. Make bro. Something that's, shake. that's an everyday thing. Like there ain't no, you know, song that I can really say just before I got locked up and that's that's a continuing Yeah, that's a song, life song, like, bro. That's a life song. Saying, that's like, why it uh I'm saying that's why it got me, man. That's why it got me. If you don't feel did. drowning, bro, you just know. You just if you don't feel drowning, you don't realize that you're drowning, I think. That's yeah, what I very, I, oh, I, 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 I won't go I won't kill him like that. But man. yeah, since you said it, you're very much yeah, saying the truth. Yeah, they're very much ignorant to their own disposition because they'd rather go ahead and try to emulate. Because everybody they feel see. like they floating above, right. but really, mm-hmm. I'd be looking at them and I'm like, mm. and 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 see, nose got water in it, bro. And see, this is this is where <laughs> <laughs> jet ski. This is where things are coming to the to the place that I I really want to go ahead and start at with you, man. Because you know the um the transit the transition that I've seen you you go through. 
like uh, when you first came here last time, you know, you talked about you in this to do this, and you know, you, you had a very um, while while you were extremely hungry, you had a very like product oriented like you're gonna you're gonna work this step and work this step, yeah. and these things are gonna be the things you're going after, and um. I was like, I want to see how this guy learns and grows. And what I've seen is I've watched you take a um, take that approach. Yet, and now, nah, hey, if you if you stop learning, you stop living. You know the but you've taken the approach and you've really decided to go from the inside out versus the outside in. Yeah, and so yeah, that's yeah. where I want to start with um with the the way that you work. All right, F your buzz was was a big um you know a lot of people thought you were talking about crazy buzz. And which is he's yeah. a cool dude. I ain't had no, no problem with that. Yeah, crazy because cause the thing about it, crazy buzz ain't even the Richmond no yeah. more. Like, yeah, yeah. So yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, F your buzz was really like about any any but, everybody yeah. in the city. Like, it, it was it keeping was, the band. Like, yeah, it was about it was any, like any it was about the city. Like what I seen. So I ain't seen dude moves. So I had no problem. Yeah. And it was crazy to me when when Cuz had to post and, and, and say like we not talking about crazy, but cause that yeah. never crossed my mind. Yeah, hey, those honestly, things, you know, those what things saying? happen with a few different uh, moments every now and then, in, in the strangest of ways, whether it be through an artist or whether it be through an event name or whether yeah. it be somebody hit. I mean, that stuff happens, but you handle that tactfully instead of going on some whole crazy and you handle. Like, it, if if, if like, anybody hey. in the city would have said that, John, it would have turned out a different way. Yeah, 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 yeah. and. And this is the other thing, man. This is the anybody else would not have handled it the same way. And the other thing too, though, is that um, you know, you've you've definitely you like you became very much open about sharing your opinion about the fakeness <laughs> and the things that you see, and oh, not not, away. not in a uh, not in a like a a lot of times people will mistake honesty for hating, bro. It's a uh, human yeah, nature. No, if you're it, don't say a lot of time. Be honest. Hey, well, Pretty I mean, much all the time. I only say a lot of times because it, there's a chance to turn the shit like around 90%. right now. 90, 98%. You know what I'm saying? We're, skim milk is the only way we're getting over it when they're crying over spilled milk. You know? And um, you went ahead, though, and you stuck your guns on that, but you've never turned away from having a discussion, from substantiating Yeah, no, man, and, talking. It ain't going to get honest, disrespectful, bro. Yeah. Like, like, I've been in too many, like, now you try to be funny, like, or brag on that, John, like, bro. It meant people didn't want me dead out this junk. Yeah. It, it, I ain't trying to be funny. Like, it's a dude talking in court right now want to take me for my kid. Like, so discussions about opinions is just discussions about opinions. opinions. I don't feel like you you current me because you might disagree with me. You feel what I'm saying? When I got to deal with watching my back in real life, if this, if this dude might take me out or... If this dude might, you know what I'm saying, tell on me or or because this girl mm -hmm. might not get her attention the way she's supposed to get, she might make some lie up and have somebody come for me. Like, if you got to deal with that in real life, that puts her in perspective. And even in prison, like, bro, like, that don't be real in that zone. Like, mm -hmm. so, you know what I'm saying? Like, when you got to deal with them type of zones, like... You know what I'm saying? Like, this man right here, that told me, pulled my car so many times. And he 100% right all the time. I don't listen to him all the time. But he 100% right all the time. He be like, bro, you got to realize, like, on Facebook, bro, like, you being yourself. Everybody's not being their self. Bro, look. I it's, really don't care. I'm still, I can't help but be getting the feelings. It's a, it's a big, uh... Like, you know how I like to go on my little tangents on there? Yeah, about I love that joke. Aspects. Yeah, I and, love that joke. Thank you. Thank you. I yo. love, thank you, bro. I, thank you. I ain't gonna lie, like, you can say something right now and be like, yeah, I got a show, this, doing this, doing that. Mm -hmm. I probably would like it, but I, it's a possibility that I won't. Yeah. But when you say something that I know about the upset of everybody, yeah. you know what I do. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's your habit. I love that joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, Cause I like seeing you stand behind something, and whether yeah. you know it or not, man. Like, hey, I'm standing behind you. And hey, I, I, ain't got to be. I know that, I, and I, I be seeing the, the quick share, and I be yeah, seeing. It. But I, that's because you. you're you're recognizing principles and you know and reality. And so you know what what I've what I've what I've watched you really go forward in articulating this is on in, in different layers. Now, industry wise, music wise. We have, um, I believe there's a, there's a tier structure to trying to be an artist, quote unquote. First off, it's finding your voice and finding your, your felt yourself and who you are, right? Very true. And then it's the creative process, going in there and being excited about it. Then yeah. it's immediately dealing with disappointment 
And then, yeah. you know what I'm saying, at the same time, putting that disappointment to the side and figuring out how you're going to either put on a face or carry that and use that, that to go ahead. That disappointment is It's real. And a lot of people don't understand that. And you got to go out there. And I've watched you grow as an artist, especially in your performance and stage presence, which transcends also to the realness and authenticity that you're talking about and your nature on Facebook. Because, yes, let's be real. There are people out there right now who are faking the funk. There are people out there right now who want, to, who want to go on a stage and pretend that they can go ahead and do something that they see somebody who's the a millionaire and big be up be there you can be. And, and, and pretend and mm -hmm. operate off of what they've been shown by somebody instead of leading through their own example and represented as an individual. You know what I'm saying? Right. Individuals get up and do drowning without a beat. You know what I'm saying? Individuals get up you know and they I mean? say whatever y'all got. To. Individuals go and they're aggressive and they put their foot down and they decide to define who they are. People who follow get up there and they do the same stupid thing. But with that don't come from music, back. though. That, and that's mm -hmm. what I'm getting at. Is that a lot of people want to persona this, bro. Yeah. A lot of people want to persona this. A lot of people want to play like they've been in my life. And I take that drum very seriously. So what I want to ask you about the, with the process, you went through a difficult situation over sessions and over production. Oh, we can say it, though. Oh, yeah, no, 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 Say it, no, 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 no Oh man, you know, you went to the studio, you did not be able to get your records and your sessions and, and so you get your actual full mix and master done for what you believe to be some of the strongest music you've made. Yeah, it but, still is. Like, but you did not let that stop you from continuing to create. No, I did for a minute. But to everybody go, I, when I heard Ghostface Killers album Supreme Clientele, I could rap for 10 minutes, true story. But I started again, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you sat there and you went through that and you I could did, have carried though, it like, a million I, I, different I gave, ways. I gave him control of my life for a little bit. Like, I ain't even gonna lie. Like, that's what was the... I ain't really give him control of my life. What I did is I gave him control of my destiny and I had to make a decision. Like, is you gonna be... Like, if you know me, you know me. If you Is you gonna be Nino? Mm -hmm. Who they ain't even think about God that going rapping? Or is you gonna be no and... Who really take this rapping drum seriously and look at this drum as a way to get your kids and your family out of everything they've been through? Like I feel like my kids deserve so much, you know what I'm saying? Because they've been through so much. Like I feel like my, I honestly feel like my kids been through more than people that's my age. So you know what I mean? Like you know, he spoke on it. I'm gonna speak on it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like thirty-eight to forty-two hundred dollars worth of. Recording is sitting still because somebody that I really trusted and thought that was my dog, you know what I'm saying, talk family business more than just, you know what I'm saying, music, you know what I mean, you know, I don't know if he lost it, I don't know what, but he ducking me, you know what I'm saying, so that was supposed to be Junkie Live Mouth. But you see, know what I'm but so, see, this is this is the thing, yo, and this is but again because of this man right here. <laughs> yeah. I got Again, cause of this man right here. Yeah, yo. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> GP. Shout out, GP. GP. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? Like, you gotta realize, like, that's why I keep him close to me, cause, like, you know what I mean? We was born a couple years apart. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is my blood. You know what I'm saying? So he know what I'm gonna do. He he know what I'm gonna take. Like, on the other side, he know what I'm gonna take it. He know what I potentially can't take this to. So, you know what I'm saying? He like, bro, like, you, you gotta got that gone. You know what I'm saying? Be big, the bigger person in the jump. You know what I'm saying? Because it could have got ugly. Hey, and look. And it would have got ugly on both sides. Like, I'm not sitting here saying I'm invincible. No, no, so, no, no. You know no, what I'm no. saying? Like, it would have been me sitting back in the way. No, and, and look, I, I remember... I remember when I saw you post and people were like, you should just hop on a plane. And I was so glad you didn't take the bait to go like, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and yeah, find people it. People be like, talking that job, bro. That somebody didn't talk, probably bro. beat they butt and they ain't doing yeah. nothing about it, bro. Like, mm -hmm. ain't nobody putting no hands on no. No. Ain't nobody putting no bones on no and no ain't coming see about it. Ain't nobody got that go like, man, people owe me money. That job be money I blow in the club. Like, so... This though, this was different because it was like for you to be who I am and where I come from and try to do everything right. Like they'll give you this facade that when you try to do right, that you know 
things will go better. <laughs> they don't tell you that when you try to do right, it will be somebody that you trust and you, you really rock with that will take your money from you. And then God will choose you as a, as a test to see how really much you want to do right. You feel what I'm saying? That's what that AWOL situation, shout out to AWOL. I'm not even mad at you. Yeah. You was my test, my dog. You know what I'm saying? You was my test because it it, it it ain't even talking crazy like just being real. You know I can touch you and you know you can touch me. I could have got that going to fail the test and I wouldn't be here right now. But God saw fit to use you as my test. So therefore, you know what I mean, I had to see if I was really grown, I had to see if I was really done with what Nino was about, and if I was really no, and because of that, I got a whole new junkie's life model, you know what I'm saying, and, yeah. I, and I went ahead and took the L, and I, and I went ahead and, 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 and made something mm -hmm. off the ground from the beginning, like, bing. Like, people don't even know, like, I had these conversations with this man right here, mm -hmm. And it was probably like three months ago, three, yeah. four months ago, bro. Yeah, yeah. And a month after I had the conversation, Junk is Live Matter was out. Yeah, yeah. And, you know and, what I'm and, saying? And, like, and nobody can stop what's supposed to be. If you don't take nothing from nothing, nobody, nobody can, can stop what's supposed to happen. Nobody can stop you, but you. And what, I, we got to play out for the real, because that's what we're talking about. Yeah. But what I'm going to tell you is this, yo. This is a, this is a principle that I recently around. discovered through my random encounters and experiences, yo. And, and you hit the nail. If there was a nail, you hit it right on top of the head. You know what it is, yo? I'm an ace right now. I'm hitting nails. There, 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 there it is. <laughs> Look, I'm going to tell you one of the realest things that you a principle that you just solidified there. It is this, yo. You know, when you're real, you take an L. Right? If you take an L when you're real, everybody takes L's, right? Yeah. Everybody. Even the word salmon, you don't even hear about it. But when you take an L, right? When you take an L <laughs> and you're real, you earn. And when you put that experience together yeah. with the earning, you know what happens? You learn. That's it. I feel like I earned, and I feel like I learned, you know what I'm saying? And that's like, the whole point. A lot of people can't handle I feel like it, it made me a better me. A lot of people, hey, and that's... I ain't, I ain't, no, hold up. I ain't gonna say it made me a better me. I'm gonna tell you what it did. It showed me that the person I was trying to be, I jab can be. And to be honest, before coming straight from prison, mm -hmm. I wanted to be that person. But I didn't even myself believe that I really was that person. You know what I'm saying? Like, I dealt with, like, telling my baby mama, like, I'm reading the Bible in this joint. And she'd be like, oh, you going you gonna to come home and be my Luther King. Yeah, right. <laughs> you feel yeah. you? Know? Just like, you know what I'm saying? The people that love me. And I ain't even knocking her for that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't even knocking her for that. Because at the end of the day, per if personally, yeah. if you show me one hand all your life, then I'm gonna guess that that's you, yeah. and that is me. Like I, I never, I never shake from who I am. Like, like the person that would have did what I want to do is still here. Like, don't ever take that for granted. Oh, we we you know call that saying? we call that the Roberto factor, bro. You know what, you what I'm saying? saying? I'm still here. It's just the fact that <laughs> looking at my daughter eyes and looking at my sons, they be like, "Yo, my daddy doing music." Like going like, bro. A breaking point in my life was, and a breaking point to that that started the effect was going to see my youngest son graduate out of fifth grade, and when I walked in that zone, he was like, "Yo," they was like, "Yo, that's big, no." He was like, "Yeah." Hey, I told you that was my daddy. Like, oh, yeah. Remember when I hit you up about that oh. joint, yeah? <laughs> oh, but that joint hit me, bro. Like, but that joint but, but, hit but, me to my heart, bro. But you and you had and you and that's the thing is that greatness when when we become aware of it is rarely expressed in a way that we would have ever expected it to be. I, I guarantee you never expected to walk no, in that like, joint. I don't. I'm, I'm telling like, you, I tell you, you ain't ready, ready, bro. What? If you know me, my saying is I'm nobody. But, hey. That's my saying. Everybody get mad at me for saying that joke, but it's a reason why I say that joke. And I spoke on that joke in the Sweet Lick on video. Shout out Sweet Lick. I spoke on that joke in the Sweet Lick interview. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, it's not because I think of myself as nobody. It's because if I say I'm nobody and it, it makes somebody else say, no, you somebody, it's better for you to say it than me. <laughs> Power, you know what I'm man. saying? Is it? See, see, that's the problem with Richmond. All these rappers want to say they somebody. 
It's somebody I can sit you beside and show you that you know about it. Right. I can show you that. Like, oh, I got 10,000 views. Well, Noah O went this way. Yeah. Oh, I got that going, do the da 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 Well, Black Lick make money off of music. Yeah. Are you making money off of music? No, you're not. You're thinking about views. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, this, that, and the third. I'm the best. Well, you're lying all your music, so... So, really, he... he you might be a great, a great pretender. You're a great but, pretender. Uh, like so, I can, I can add all I of that up, bro. Like I can add all that up to show everybody why they not the best, bro. The thing about it, like I come from humble beginnings, man. Like not even just my beginnings. Like my mama come from humble beginnings. His mama come from humble beginnings. Where when they took a bath, they put a tub in front of a fireplace. So you know what I'm saying? Like it, it won't never told me that I was that person. It won't never told me that that I was special. It won't never told me, and it don't mean that my mama don't think I was special. It won't never told me because my mama wanted me to work to be special. So everybody on Facebook blasting about being the best, I know you not the best just because you feel like you got to say it. Yeah. That's why we're going to F with the real. Yep. Simple as that, yo. If you really know that you're the best, you don't and, uh, have to say it. By if, the way, if you got the if you got the dope, if you got this most missile is dope on the block, you don't have to tell nobody, nope. bro. I promise you it'll be a land outside. Yep. <laughs> and if you don't work, me jump. no matter how great your work is, it ain't gonna work. Because at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying, you gotta start another. Let's go with it, man. F with the real, yo. F with the real. Shout out Lil Bill, man. I love you, boy. Uh, it's a real dude. <laughs> I hope you caught all that. Cut it up. <laughs> Shout out Jeezy. Mm -hmm. I had to run. Man. Shout out Jeezy, I man. I had to run the Jeezy, man. I had to do it. I made mean, a lot of money listening to Jeezy, man. Hey, Jeezy is uh, inspiration. He is inspirational. inspirational. You know what I'm saying? Like motivation. People like me, man. <laughs> I think Jeezy is often. Jeezy is often, uh, often underrated, though, yo, and underestimated. Man, yes. I, I uh, if you, you go, know if my... you go back and listen to the old Jeezy, what do no, I? I know. So if, if people, like, when people like people that don't know how far ahead, man, Jeezy, man, ahead, I feel bro. like it. Feel like if it weren't for people like Jeezy and got it, I might be broke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just being honest, man, because you know what I mean. Like it's something to hear somebody and know in their voice that they they know what you're going through. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? That's a beautiful thing, like, and when I hear Jeezy, it be like I hear, like, what I seen. I hear, like, what is capable. I hear, like, yo, dog, he was just like me, man. That's why it's called Thug Motivation, bro. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exact, like, yo, that is crazy, bro. Like, yo, I'm doing this right now, bro. In my wildest dreams, I could be an exec or something. Like, bro, they don't even like me in jobs, bro. They don't like me. <laughs> so he got companies being like, yo, we believe in your brand. You can be an endorsement. Did you see his uh, his sit down with Gary Vee? With who? With uh, Gary Vee. No, I didn't. His, uh, if you go on, it was on Def Jam. Side, but if, you search, if you search like Gary Vee, I'll, I'll just find it in inbox it to you. Mm -hmm. Problem solved. But it, it's a it, Gary Vee is a, basically a guy who's uh, does a lot of motivational work, but he runs like a company. He's a brand guy, and uh, Jeezy meets with him to talk about like future planning. Did you see that documentary, John? Nah, no. Nah. <sighs> oh my God, we watched that John at work. Didn't we? Huh? That you start working. What? <laughs> what? And then you got to send me a link to that. Oh, 56 yeah. minutes. We'll do a link exchange. <laughs> So let's let's go for it. By the way, I do gotta remind people, you are listening to WIR 97.3 FM. Yes, sir. Big Noah's in the building. Junkies Lives, yes, they do matter. Junkies yes, Lives Matters is now available right now on yes, the interwebs and any of your favorite places. Yes, sir. I am underscore Northside Noah is how you find this man on the, on the little social medias. Yeah, I'm on the computer now. The Pewter de Putin, bruh. The oh, Pewter de Putin, bruh. Yeah, Cam. Shout out Cam. Yeah, hey, that's another one. Yeah. Look, what I wanna um what I do wanna get into though is so you know, I, I was I was curious. Me and myself were having a conversation. Well, what are you, what, what's going and, on? and we were like, what is No going to call this album? What is he going to call his project? And then I saw Junkies Lives Matter, which of course I was blindsided by it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was like, oh, oh, cool. okay. So first off, just just to uh, to flesh it out for people out there who want like to copy and paste, 
What is what is the principle of Junkies Lives Matter? Junkies Lives Matter mean to me, Junkies Lives Matter mean when even you don't got nothing, you could be totally wrong and somebody I want the wrong. You feel what I'm saying? Like you could really like have nothing, like mm -hmm. and I can't hold with nothing. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Bucks and Bangs, Bucks and Bangs, like. Like Alice putting clothes on my back. You feel me? Mm -hmm. I ain't had nothing. You know what I'm saying? So all I knew is what I knew. So at the end of the day, like if you have a product that is certified, people will come. Supply and demand, right? And that is supply and demand. Shout out three way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I mean? So like Chunk is like mad at me, like the person like like I remember being young, right? And we used to do dumb stuff to like junk is like and you know what I'm saying, like we used to you know what I mean, like just being real, like I am I'm, I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> not the RBA dude, you know what I'm saying? I'm the R I C dude, like you know what I'm saying, like I'm i I'm not I'm not I'm not Richmond on the outskirts, I'm like so the hot of Richmond, you hear me? So, you know what I mean, like, we do things that we might shouldn't do, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, the thing about it is, you know what I mean, like, those old heads that might be saying things and they might be getting high off stuff that you look at them down for, but they might tell you something to save your life. Hey, big so fact, Something that matter to me, like, like, I'm all the way open with my story, you hear me, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm in love, I've been in love with a junkie. You know what I'm saying? I got love for junkies. You know what I'm saying? I like, like, I ain't even talking about who I made money off. I'm talking about people that I might have been hurt that the fact that they are junkies, like family members. I'm talking about people that's close to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's nothing funny about it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people see junkies like man, they laugh at that John like. Man, you funny, you funny, like yeah, 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 you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. And that's cool. I'm taking that, but. To be honest with you, junk is lying matter like to me. Junk is lying matter mean my kids eat. You know what I'm saying? Junk is lying matter mean, you know what I'm saying, rent paid. Junk is lying matter mean, you know what I'm saying, I want these clothes and I get these clothes because junk is lying matter. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, hustle lives don't even matter, bro. They'll lock you up and send you away. You know what I'm saying? Hustle life does not matter, bro. They'll kill you and another person will pull up. They'll lock you up, another person will pull up. You know what I'm saying? It's always somebody to take the reign of what you do. Like, that's why I say I'm nobody. Because I ain't got to the point where I have an aspect of life where you can't suffice that junk. Like, that's how honest I am. But a junkie, hey. he holds... Suffice in somebody's life, no matter even if that person dogging them, you know what I'm saying? He might talk trash to him, but let that same person, you see what I'm saying? Like, 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 I'm gonna tell you, like, I'm gonna really give you ins insight on where I'm from. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? You might talk trash to that junk and be like, man, you in the way, da, 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 da. but let that same junk and not hit your phone the next day. Mm. <laughs> A lot of people don't think about it. You're gonna that. be mad. Who you messing with? Mm -hmm. Who you got down rocking with? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, you know what I'm saying? You gonna hit eventually gonna hit his phone. Man, what's up, bro? Then it gonna be all cool. So junk is live matters, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Like, in 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 in, 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 in every aspect of that John, bro. Like it's every aspect, bro. And I knew when I said it, John, like, you know, I was very adamant about the Black Lives Matter John. Mm -hmm. That's what pushed me to it. Cause it was like Okay, this was jumping right now, and this was trending. But in all reality, I don't know the guy that got killed by the police. But this somebody that like matter to me. Yeah, you know, Ooh. you know, you know about them. And 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 the um, and and the thing about it that uh, I, I worked in a retail spot for a very long time, and uh, I, I when that joint shut down, I took their uh, service creed and stuck it on my bedroom door. And uh, one of the principles of it is it takes three, three times the amount of time to replace a customer as it does to please one. Man. 
ain't lying, you bro. You know, like, to find a new one. So, I mean, you're... And and the, the the for me when I saw the title Junkies Lives Matter I was like this is about cons- constituency about customers you know the people Customer, every single person matters whether their vices or their prices they whether you, matter whether you spending you spending forty dollars yeah. with me you spending two hundred dollars with me you spending seven hundred dollars with me you spending thirteen hundred dollars with me. And if you're a real dog, if you real, you know what I'm saying. Hey. You feel what I'm saying? Like, so every person gets treated the same. You feel what I'm saying? Like, so you feel me? Because this is all I know. You feel what I'm saying? So this is all I got. So at the end of the day, if that $40 person don't spend that money, and then, and then if you're a real hustler, you know that the person that spent forty dollars, you actually make more money off the person that spent forty dollars than you do with the person that make thirteen hundred. Yeah, mm-hmm. because so, they're at volume, bro. You know what I mean? So it's like so, that job matters to me, bro. Like you know what I mean? Like I had to grow up because at the end of the day, we was young, like we was tripping off. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Sitting around Lee Street and got that going, doing stuff that we weren't supposed to do and stripping them type of people. We, st- I remember, man, I ain't, ain't going to lie to you. I remember to this day, bro, we, we, we stripped a little customer dude. Butt ball nigga, man, and walk from Lee Street, high shot homes, shout out UPT, you know what I mean? So wherever he had to go, you know what I'm saying? And, and that was funny to us. But now I look back on that joint and I be like, how much money would I have made at that time if I would have just consoled that person? You feel what I'm saying? Like, I can honestly say, like, I be honest. Like, if you listen to my intro, I say, Mo in the passenger, me in the backseat, whip out, smack him up. Yeah, nigga, that's what's up. That same person don't know to this day but that same person don't know that I robbed them, and that same person promotes my music. <laughs> mm. That same person bought every CD, and they spent more money. It spent more money than I got up off them. Are y'all understanding? Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I, so I really, I, I, and I told this to my mama. Mm. I, it's not even a month and a half ago. Man. I want to say I was on the phone with you. I was on the phone with Crown. Shout him out. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, no, nah, I won't. I was on the phone with Real. I was on the phone with my big yeah, brother Real. Like you know what I'm saying? And, and, the, and the, as a grown adult now, you know, you look at those things like, you know, the person that you look down on might be the person that pick you up. I was just about to say it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So this is what I got to say to all the young people that was in my shoes. You know what I'm saying? Treat them all like they golden, bro. Because I'm going to tell you right now, you want to see a sad person? Person might talk all that trash about they junkies, right? Let them lose that phone. Yeah. It's a Benny Blanco situation. It's a Benny. But this is nose way. <laughs> so we we gotta we gotta run another joint off the album, man. Cause yeah. I want these people to hear this. What are you gonna run though? Uh, I mean, honestly, man, I, I already uh, certified. I wanna go. I don't. I, don't, I, got, I ain't got the certified. I ain't uh-huh. got the certified. Certified is serious business. <laughs> it serious ain't business. clean though. I know. So I can't do it. But I got earthquake clean. Earthquake to me. <laughs> earthquake is. Earthquake to me is one of the sublime situations. Hard. Where played it at That's like, why I love Black Lick, right? Y'all have, have y'all... Because you'll yeah. never see Black Lick play a strip song yeah. and be talking about it like this right yeah. now. Yeah. This is a strip club song, it's you a, heard me. It's a strip club song, but it's an official strip club song. It's yeah. official. It's not, it's not just pop it, pop it, shake it with, some, with the same old crunk. You know, and it's, a, it's, it's a real... There's, and there's, and it's, this is real certified. And yeah. there's a, there's a yeah. layered yeah. structure to this that I want you guys to see if you catch. But for me, and y'all gonna be like, Black Liquid, Mr. Hippity Hoppity, y'all don't know what I'm into. You know what I'm saying? But this, you don't know it. when I heard I this, yeah, and when I heard this, I was like, yeah, yeah, he did it. He did and it. I do it. And, and but, but, and you see me do it. But the thing the club is, too, every week is that <laughs> this, this song is you. It's me, bro. Like, this song is you. This the thing about it, bro. Like, shout out Big Shoulder Rapper, bro. 
That's my cousin. Hey, yeah, hey, I, Big dog. that guy, man, I ain't talked to him in a minute. That's, That's a my cool cousin, dude, bro. bro. A cool I'm going to tell man. you what Big Show to rap, but I might have to say this on your show. I was on, on, I was ready to do, do a big four years, mm -hmm. and he told me, bro, I don't want you to come home doing a bunch of songs about being locked up. Cause you do way more than just be locked up. And he told me, and I was like, bro, and then he, 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 he let me listen to the song, and it was like so commercial. I was like, like y'all don't know Big Show the rapper like I know Big Show the rapper. You know what I'm saying? So because I'm like, my joint by Big Show was uh, Invincible. Yeah? Yeah, that's my joint. You know what I'm saying? So is. it was like, bro, you be in the club, you like females, why is that not real to you if you make a song about that jump? And it changed the whole way of I think about a song. But you can't make a, a stupid song neither, uh, or a basic song. You gotta and, and just you be gotta lace you. that. But you gotta lace that joint. You got to have. But you some gotta people put you ain't lace, stuff. period. Bruh, they ain't not gonna lace a, a raw jump. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying is you lace it, jump. Yeah, yeah, bro. I'm gonna lace get. I'm gonna give you real. Sh I'm gonna give you real. I'm gonna give you the raw. Well, let, let's let it speak for itself. Yo, look, we got earthquake, earthquake man. right now off Junkies Lives Matter. Earthquake, and yeah. I was riding to the if south. If you side. don't want this twerk off this, this song, bro, you numb, like, bro. And I was like, yup, scrubbers. If you don't like this song, I'm pretty sure like you don't have Jay. too many females. Well, hey. That's, that's, as, that's uh, as Gucci once said, that's what's sad. That's what's sad. Let's go. Earthquake. <laughs> right now. Man. Listeners, I know that you're, uh, you're trying to figure out what just happened. Oh. Because the John... The jump was a shape jump. But you feel I like a little tingling or something. And they might have, might have bro. Felt a little tingling, well, though. Sometimes <laughs> sometimes you buy a piece and it's got fuzz. Mm -hmm. I um mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> give a little tingling. <laughs> hey bro. I know for a fact. Hey, come on. <laughs> the junkies Lives matter is out right now. And that was off of it. Yep. So with that being said and how I spoke of that, the way that I uh I listen to Junkies Lives Matter, right? And I was like, okay, where's he gonna go with this? Where's he gonna go with this, mm -hmm. right? Because we're, we're gonna, I'm, I'm gonna reveal some of the, the, the independent rapper magic tricks, okay? As far as like the things that people don't consider, right? Yeah, put me on. If you, or if, you if you're an, and, and if you're an, an artist, right? And you're vying for the time of people who are generally invested in, in what's popping, quote unquote, mainstream and all that, right? You know what I'm saying? Then what you need to do is you need to come in and you need to get their attention for the for the least amount of time to make the most of it, because mm -hmm. what happens is you give people twenty tracks, they gonna just they gonna know the luxury of records yeah. and they gonna skip around. Yeah. So my first thing that I was like I was like I wonder how long this is. Yeah. Ten records. Ten records. Perfect two, number. Two now skits. about thirty four minutes I think it was somewhere around there, and mm -hmm. I was like this is this is the perfect amount of time for me to figure out. What are we saying? Yeah, you gotta person? be around. I tell everybody, bro. You be around me for the five minutes. You ain't seen every song. But, but, but. So when I listened to this, then I was like, all right, let's see where he takes the narrative, and if you're giving your all on every record after what you've been through, right? I'm a believer, right? But I, 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 I like. To I want convinced. you to be that way. Yeah. So I was like, so I'm gonna go through this, and I was um. And for the first time in a long time, bro, I listened to somebody's project. And I wasn't, I wasn't like, well, they, they missed this opportunity. They could have did this and that. They should have did this and that. I felt like it was a sufficient message and a sufficient place to start in really representing what you're about and telling your story and not dressing it up. Because I was, I, I'm, I wait, I wait to see how many adjectives are gonna show up. Everybody be feeling you know like I be fly every yeah. day, bro. But, but to be honest with you, that's that you just, don't be by accident. Just but you just be you. Just like clothes. But you were. I don't dress nothing up. And the whole, the whole project, though, man, you weren't, you weren't trying to. Um, I guess, I guess this is, this is gonna sound somewhat oxymoronic to say, like in a in a project called Junkies Lives Matter. It's very interesting to hear something that's concise and it's not built around the idea of somebody constantly trying to sell themselves to you. You feel me? Yeah, I'm so. I saw it myself. is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I, I am the same. And you either, and you either, you either are going to recognize the work, or you're gonna be but, like, but see, yeah. but see, like, not the goddamn tell, not to tell on myself, but you know, crying, crying on what I'm about to say. Like <laughs> that's that's the junkers that matter, John. Like when I'm on the when I was on the blade. I didn't sell myself like I just made sure I had the best product. It was it, and it's, it's it definitely speaks from an experience. <laughs> I'm not. A I'm, I'll be honest with you. I'm not a hustler. It's sell, it's sell. I'm a salesman. Yeah, I right. go find the best product. Right. 
and cheapest price. So then, how, so then how did you end up linking with Lynn? That's what I was wondering, too. I didn't link with Lynn. I ain't going to have nobody. I went on this, I went on this <laughs> website, <laughs> and I said, what? yo, I want, I said, I want Lynn. Yeah? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I said, that joint, I ain't said that joint to nobody. Like, these people right here I talk to on an everyday basis, I, they'll tell you. Like, I didn't come to him and be like, yo, bro, I'm about to go back and see him, see him beat some Lynn. I just said, look, I'm about to go buy some land beats in my mind. Mm -hmm. And I went and bought some land beats, because why not? He from the city. Yeah, he was just here last week. He got week. a website. Yeah. So it's like, he got a website, okay. Ain't nobody going to link me in. They ain't going to link me in, because yeah. I know they don't want me to link with them, because at the end of the day, if I link with them, I'm going to turn up more than them. And mm -hmm. that's, that's going to be barrel. a problem. So therefore, you know what? You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go himself. to the spot where everybody can go, but they don't go because yep. they're looking for a discount. Mm -hmm. I ain't looking for no discount. You know me. I'm you're straight you're money. You heard me? You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? I went, <laughs> and then everybody like, yo, who is that favorite baby daddy drunk from? <laughs> <laughs> young man, shout out young <laughs> laying on the track. <laughs> you heard me? Well, let's do it, yo. Let's do it. Hey, favorite baby daddy. You know what I'm saying? You know, I, I know I rub a couple people wrong with this joint, but you know what I mean. Everybody I don't rub wrong with probably got you know a vagina and two breasts. You heard me? How you doing? From Popeye. <laughs> hey, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> man, one day I was riding to work. I said. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I talk to mothers, you know what I'm saying? They happen to have babies. How doing, it's, yeah. it's one o'clock in the morning. I got a girl, though. I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to make it seem like I'm doing it. I just, I just want to know how y'all doing it. It's two o'clock in the morning. The shake is always back. I do want to, I want to take a, a quick, I want to take I really a quick wanted this guy to do the shake back job for me. I, I want to ask, I want to, I want to get, this is, this is my, uh, yeah. two days. This is my joint for you, yo. I want you to, I want you to, to, if you can lay out in a few simple steps, right? How does one, because I don't know if you know or not, but to me, you, you're known, in, like, subliminally, I call you the shake back king. So, oh, yeah. how does one, <laughs> what are the steps to shaking back? Not like you do this and this, but like, how do you get yourself in the mind state to shake back? And, and if they don't, they, they may not even know what the shake back means. So tell them, tell the people what it means to shake back. Shake and how back you get your mean, mind state into shake the shake back. Make sure you get this. People, the witness me like they see me come home with nothing. You mm. feel what I'm saying? So shake back means first of all you got to be cool with showing that you have nothing. Mm. <laughs> Everything full like, circle. Huh? Like, I was cool with. It. You know what I'm saying? I knew in myself that. At the end of the day, I'm going to be me, even if I have nothing. All right? So once you're cool with having nothing, just doing bare minimum, taking care of your kids, this, that, and third. Then you got to know what you can do. And if you can't do it, then at the end of the day, it don't matter. If you don't feel that you can't do it, it don't matter. At the end of the day, I knew what I could do. Like, at the end of the day, you got to know what you did in the past. So I knew what I did in the past. Like, you got to realize, like, they didn't lock me up for nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know how to make money. So it don't matter what you put me in, I'm going to make money. And I had to really listen to people around me and be like, look, calm down. It's okay for you not to have nothing at this moment upon the time. You're not supposed to. You know what I'm saying? And then when you get to that point where you be like, okay, I'm cool with not having nothing. I know what I did in the past. You got to erase all of that memory. And you have to grind like you never, ever had anything. Hold on a minute, hold on. Tell them one more time. They got to grind like you what? You got to grind like you never had anything. Because if you, at that point, when you think about what you had before hmm. and you want to use that as a propeller that's an anchor you ain't getting up that's mm -hmm. a that's an l bro Good. like you can't talk about what you did 10 years ago like nope and think you're gonna come up you feel what i'm saying so at that point in time i said look all i know is crack and dope 
I'm not going to do nothing that has anything to do with cracking dope. That was a real stage in my life. Because everybody in my shoes would have been like, I'm going to run to crack and dope and get back. Nobody and, never. And, and one other thing we got to point out, getting back and shaking back, not the same thing. Not the same thing. Not the same thing. Because getting back, nigga, you can get back and you be in the same spot that you were, that you left off. It's but just, you'll never make it past that. It's just you know what I'm saying? I, like, shake it back me. you shook that joint off and goes almighty. <laughs> when you walk in that building, they be like, hold up, what is he doing? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I, that's what I, that's what I, that's what I embody, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I embody, like, people that know what I did and might not see me. And then and I walk in the club now and they be like, man, what, what is he doing? <laughs> I know he back doing the same thing. No, I'm not. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, I'm not. Ladies and gentlemen, you know what I'm saying? You like, call that the shake back. <laughs> and then you gotta own it, though. We love all. You gotta own it, though. You gotta feel good in it. To stop. You gotta own it. Like you gotta be cocky about it. Courtesy you gotta be confident about of it. The shake back. Kid. You know what I'm saying? No like it's gonna off. really gonna ooze out of your pores. You feel me? Like when I walk, I don't walk the same way I walk in 2010, 2011. When let I had ask, let me ask more you money, let me ask you but this. I don't walk the same way. Let weight. me ask you this: Does the shake back happen? Because a lot of people, yo, people don't get this. Does a shake back happen first in your mind or in this world? It gotta happen in your mind. First, if you do not envision, then you do not prepare. If you do not prepare, then you do not decide. If you do not decide, you do not have a decision. If you don't have a decision, you have not decided, which means you have not committed. I was in limbo of just getting back. And the honest, honest to God, what happened is you looked at it like you was just telling me uh, a name for my album. And you was like, bro, you would shake back. Yeah, you need to do that, John. Shake back, and if you look, if I could let you listen to the John with A Wall, the first John with A Wall, I say the shake back coming. It was right after you told me that. Yeah, and I was like, what are you seeing that I ain't seeing? Like I don't even feel like I'm doing nothing. You seen it? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it was like, sure. Because every time, I'm ready to shake back every time, it. every time. And so from that point of point from. That point on, it was like anything I do in music, I was not gonna do it small. So I did Money Bag Yo. I ain't just coming performing Money Bag Yo. I bought the biggest section Come in the club mm -hmm. at Money Bag Yo. Mm -hmm. I bought bottles with my niggas. Come on. And we got, excuse me, with my dogs. And, and, and we showed up. At Money Bag Yo, and even before Money Bag Yo, shout out Mean Green, my cousins and them. We did Jesus like a couple weeks before that, and they set the tone like, "Oh, cuz you back." They put it in me like, "You put it in me." They put it in me. It was like, "Oh, all right, I'm back." Y'all feel like I'm back? I don't feel like I'm back yet, but y'all feel like I'm back, so see, I gotta look, be back. I know people, <laughs> right? But I know I know people who like you post like, you. I believe that you're the kind of person to post a coin, okay? Because it's people who post what goes on in their life, and it comes from one side only. You feel me? Like they'll be like, "Hey, I just lost this. I lost it." The way that the where I saw the shape back was some of the consistency. I like to watch the spectrum, right? And so every time you posted the side of the coin, the people would be like, "Oh no, I can't believe this." The next, the next post I saw was a shape back. Shape back every time without fail. Without fail, no matter and that what. Won't schedule it, it was, and, and but, but it was never. It was never out of um. You also weren't on that other thing. Like some people are vengeful about whatever happens in their life immediately. Like I can't believe this. I can't bro, believe I, this happened to me. I, I, I'm I a own man. everything you, you that happened to me, bro. The, the shake back. I sold drugs. It, it I got it. locked up. If you get locked up, your girl not gonna stay with you. Look. My girl didn't stay with me. It happened. My kids got separated. It happened. I came home then what? to nothing. I came home with nothing. And my kids won't together and I said, look, they're not together, okay? They're not gonna be together. Okay, this is what I gotta do. Period. Like, shake back. Shake back. I bro. own all of that. That's me. The shake back king, y'all. I never did nothing if I like, oh, it's somebody else's fault. The Shake Back King. And to keep it a band with you today, the same person that left me 
hit my phone mm. today. And she just got out of jail. And you know what that's called? And yeah. I ain't even knock her. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. But I ain't got no time for it. You that's feel what I'm saying? Because that's a get back. I'm not a shake back. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's on my mama, bro. I ain't lying about nothing. I don't say nothing just so it sound good on radio or it sound good on the song. Like, I'm telling you really what happened. Like, my baby mama hit me up today. Like, I just need that friend back. Oh, we ain't no friends no more. Back. Back, back, back. Look, we gotta do this that there, Johnny. I wanna make sure I get all yours. That damn! I wanna ride with you for a little bit. We gotta get a little You gonna ride with me, man? How long we got left? We got like 30, bro. Oh, all right. Yeah, we always on schedule, bro. It's part of the shake back, like you said. This the sleeper for real, bro. Hey, what's up? We both know that Richmond is split in two halves. Yes. We got the hip hop side. Yeah. We got the street side. Oh. And, and, uh, You're pretty much the only person I know that a guy that go to the title on both sides with whoever you like. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, so what I want to do is I want a podcast not to compete, nah, nah. but to be like how, discreet how can you, version of the Cheatham's jump. How can you be apart from people? How can you be divided when you all want the be same very, thing? You, you can be very divided. How can you be divided when you're passionate about the same people, thing? See, you know? People want to be talking about Richmond. See, the thing about it is you got people on the hip hop side. They computer literate. Mm -hmm. They really know network literate. This, that, and the third. Then you got people like me, bro. We don't want to talk to nobody. <laughs> You feel yeah. what I'm saying? No, I, I, uh, I, I love you, so I yeah. talk to you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We don't want to talk to nobody. Yeah, like so, you, you know what I'm but saying? But you, you, you know who did so like to talk? You, if you, yeah, I don't yeah. want to talk. You to like that. to talk. So yeah. when you when you don't like to talk to people, you find somebody who like yeah, to talk. Tell them, tell them, tell them. When them, you man. don't like to talk to people, them, right, you find somebody who likes to talk. Because I'm a hard person to understand, right, in a lot of situations. So you know who has conversations for me sometimes? Is that one. Because he speaks normal. You know what I'm saying? Colonel knows he speaks normal. Colonel knows. speak for me. Yeah, sometimes. Look, hey, look. Sometimes what you have to do is you have to say, this is what I want to say. Come and on, then you, you give them 70% of the message. It's just, and then it's just they that, like, bro, it, bro, like, you got to realize, bro, like, I, I spoke on this job before I even got here, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, and there's no knock and no bag, bro. But you one of the first, you one of the only people on that side of the ball that didn't look at me like a criminal, didn't look at me like a tribe, but didn't look at me like, oh, you're a squeeze nigga. Just looked at me like, he a person. Yeah. So when you looked at me out of eye in that joint, yeah. you know what I'm saying? We got that going right. Don't get it twisted, dog. When I say this, like Noah O, that nigga, he family. Dude. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. You know it's, what I'm saying? It's, it's, but at the same time, he on he on the he on the joint where I can't do too much for him because he already family. Mm -hmm. I don't want nobody feeling like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I understand that. Yeah, yeah. You feel what I'm saying? But them other guys, bro, like. I mean, cheat them, yeah. all that, bro. Cheat code, they're not touching me, bro. They already know what I'm about. But and I would be happy to rock with them. Oh no, and, and that's that's the part that I want to get to, though. You know what I'm saying? But people, they're not gonna rock with me, bro. There's people who have the same, who recognize the same thing. When we get to a point where, well, where I ain't even talking about me. Yeah. When we get to a point where others. tub on cheat code, yeah. Yeah. cheat code on. Gra this is graphics interview. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or uh, a Noah Owen, this is graphics interview. You feel what I'm saying? Like Nicholas Furry. Yeah. Um, yeah, bro. Like when we get to that point, you know what I'm saying? And I say that, John, like Jay said, bro. Like, and I can say this about him because that's my family. He know what I'm saying is no, you know what I'm saying? Like, we remember when, when Jay said, when Jay Z said, I'm more Frank Lucas than Ludacris. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm more in the O's than Noah O. Yeah. And that's my dog. But you know what I'm saying? But it's this, not but like this, it's this, no this. this. But it's nah, no but, this. No, but, but that's the but when we get to the point where everybody be like, bro, bro we Richmond. Bro, you can't, you can't, you can't hammer a nail with a pair of scissors without cutting yourself. So why are you gonna do that when you got a hammer? Yeah. You know what I mean? Your hammer. Right. 
Yo, know, the the thing I, is, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a big believer in that. I mean, it was my I'm a big foot, believer in you got to be, you got to be where people don't expect you to be. You got to be where people don't want you to be because it's people there. That's where I started off. Shake that. I'm trying to tell you. I started out on the camel, bro. Bro, like, yes. and let's be real. Can I be all the way real? Only if you are going to F with the Everybody that I came in that joint with, my people, bro, we coming in on um, Face Mail Friday. Yeah. You know me, bro. You know me up and down, bro. Yeah. My people, like, <laughs> what is going on in this joint, bro? Yeah. Like, it ain't even like, you You got to realize if you bring the projects to current town, they don't know where they at. Yeah. You can have the most talented, and in their face, they just, um, they just confused. But but the thing is, you can't hold that against them. But the more I kept bringing them to exactly, them, the greater they, they become. The greater they become. Oh yeah, yeah dude they, was they, all right yeah. too for you. Yeah, they, oh this dude was all right too for you. And that's where I'm at, bro. Because even though I was born in Delmont, I was. Went to school, I was got there going hermitage. You know what I'm saying? So like I feel like like that's when I say like people be like, What's the difference between you and Richmond? And I felt like I should have said this on your interview. The difference between me and everybody in Richmond is I'm a screen nigga. I be chilling in the projects. I be chilling in the hood. I also go and chill in the county. Yeah. I also go up 64 to Goose, man. Yeah. I also got that going to live though for a year. I was chipping here a place with Quetta. Shout out Quetta. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's no point in this city that you could be like, oh no, he ain't the way. You might be like, you don't know. You ain't no going to say he ain't the way. You going to know somebody that know me. And the thing about it, what I see on both sides is, they, they they would die before they got there going sit here and try to match that drum. You know what I'm but, saying? But and, and my that's why face melt was always about I love integrating mm -hmm. and bringing people together that were different and making a build that that had a different structure for the different audiences. Tell so Nicholas Fur and Radio B bring 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 he ain't gotta bring me. Bring the trap side over that jump, man. I'm gonna see uh I'm gonna see them on, on Friday at the party. Bring the so, trap side to that jump, bro. Because I'm gonna say this, bro. If you outside the skirts of Richmond, you might hear somebody play Nicholas F. You might hear somebody play Radio B. You might hear somebody play God Dad going on Noah O. But if you're the projects I'm sorry to tell you, but you're going to hear me. <laughs> mm. <laughs> that just means both sides of this real. And I'm going to tell you, like, right now, the truth of the matter, and I want, I want all of us to win. But if somebody from nowhere spent a week in Richmond, mm. they're not going to remember the outside. Bro. They're going to say Jackson Ward, Delmar, Wickham. Crazy hill said they gonna say, man, that joint is crazy, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> man, go back around, That's man. a lot. <laughs> you feel me? That's, That's a lot. lot. <laughs> you hear me? So at the same time, bro, you gotta represent Richmond. <laughs> and I'm telling you, if you just focus on certain stuff, you focus on bars, man, bro. I'm telling you right now, bro, you not represent Richmond. I'm sorry. I'm being real with you. If you just represent bars, you not represent Richmond. Because if you ride around Richmond with your with your with your windows down and no music, guess what, bro? You don't hear Sai High the Prince. You don't hear Eminem neither. I'm telling you right now, Richmond in this bitch. Excuse me. You heard me. You not yeah. gonna hear Sai High the Prince. You're not gonna hear Star Lido. You're not gonna hear got that going on. Uh, 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 uh. Uh uh um what his name is man uh what do it be with Kanye um cut it cut uh, it uh, uh, you're not yeah, gonna yeah, hear yeah. kid cut it you're not gonna hear got that going most deaf you're not gonna hear top Lee quality but I guarantee what you're gonna hear bro you might hear some God and you might hear some Jesus and guess what them them guys right there they relate to me you heard me you know what I'm saying you might hear some Gates you might hear some Blizz because it un unfortunately we we are messed up. <laughs> Let's do this, y'all. Let's go. Shout beat, out bro. my dog just put in this building, man. Yeah, y'all. Ooh, that's really You good. know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, though, bro. It, bro. It, it, tell me if you agree with me, bro. 
If you ride around Richmond in the inner city, you're not hearing Kid Cudi, you're not hearing Starlito, you're not hearing Side High Prince, you're not hearing God Dad going Big Crip. You're going to hear Got It. You're going to hear Cheesy. You're going to hear Kevin Gates. And guess who I am? I just might be them. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So it tell everybody want to integrate and everybody want the, 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 the cheap movements want to see somebody that might just have their hands dirty. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It tell them guys want to deal with somebody that might just have a record. You feel what I'm saying? Because I'm going to be honest with you, man. All the hip hop guys got all the business side hands down. Y'all doing it. A great thing. I sit back and watch, man. Shout out Nicholas F. Like look, I just talked about. Shout out Noah. But look, I'm and gonna shout out all them, bro. They're doing look, major things, bro. But the, what we need to do besides this freestyle things, we cannot at all not let it be unstated that the people that you're referring to on the inside, right? Their taste. Do not does not limit their intelligence. It does not limit yeah, their potential. And my taste does, don't either. And it, it does not limit anything except who they interact with, and that's not the same on the outside. If J. Cole come right down this zone right now, I want to open for him. Okay. Let's get to these beats. What more can I say? Come on. Okay. If Wu Tang come down right now, hey, every, and look here, don't even get I me started. Don't get me started. I know that's your, that's your. I've been through a few couple too. It's my people, you did it. If X hey. come down here, we ain't gonna see Black Lip for two weeks. But <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right now, if X come down, if this X come down, we ain't gonna see him. We ain't gonna see him for hey. two weeks, yo. yo. That man was he doing just setting, the, setting the garage on stage. He was doing knuckle push-ups on the stage at the national. I was there, bro. I was on stage with him. Was I was there. Yeah, we was, you was over there now. Yeah, yeah, I was there. Yeah. 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 Do it, yo. Do I was it. there. You know we have to rhyme some, y'all. We got to use some of this time for these hey, rhymes, man. One thing about it, man. I'm not scared of the hip-hop side either. You nah. know what I'm saying? Nah. I'm just so Richmond that I can't say I'm hip-hop. Mm. Look. I am Richmond. I'm not even no genre. I'm no genre. I'm not trap rap music. I'm 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 I'm, Hold I'm, I'm going back. I'm, I'm Richmond going back. genre. We gonna talk no genre. No genre rhymes, yo. I'm, I'm a no genre. Shout out my nigga goddamn graphic, you heard me? Hit him up for the motherfucking shoots. You know what I'm saying? If you holla at this is graphics for the visuals, you know what I'm saying? The chase like that, it's sweet though, you know what I'm saying? This graphic family, we laugh for this shit. I'm here with This Is Graphic Films. You already know we're getting to work. Shout out my man Professional about his business.